So I'm with my father and my grandfather and my brother sitting in the, the bench seats. Women were upstairs. Five or six guys get up on the bima on the stage and they're facing the congregation. They get their talit over their heads and they start this chanting. I think it's called dukhaning. And uh, my father said to me, don't look. So everybody's got their, their eyes covered with their hands or they've got their talit down over their faces or turned away, turned their back to these guys. And I hear this strange sound coming from them. They're not singers. They were shouters and dissonant. It was all discordant. And they were doing like that kind of wailing and all discordant, not together, not in unison. And then the leader would shout out, and the rest of them would respond, it was chilling, you know, <laughs> whoa, something, something major is happening here. So I peeked and I saw them with their hands stuck out from beneath their talib like this towards the congregation. I thought, wow, something really got hold of me. I thought, this is a... I had no idea what was going on, but the sound of it and the look of it was magical. This is the shape of the letter Shin, Hebrew alphabet Shin. Very interesting letter in the, in the uh, language. It, it's the first letter in the word Shaddai, the first letter in the word Shalom, first letter in the word Shekhinah, which is the name of the feminine aspect of God, who supposedly was created to live amongst humans, the Shekhinah. Why you're not supposed to look came to me much, much later, much later. My wife Susan has a cousin who's a rabbi here in Los Angeles at Temple Israel. And I was telling him this story and he said, the reason you don't look is the, the legend is that during that benediction, uh, the Shekhinah comes into the sanctuary to bless the congregation. And you don't want to see that because it's so powerful. It could, it could really get, be seriously injured or it could be fatal. So that's why you protect yourself by hiding in your eyes. Don't look. I survived. <laughs> I never dreamed that I would do that someday or be involved in it in some way. But sure enough, one day we're making the Star Trek series, television series. We come to a, a very lovely script called A Mock Time where my character, Spock, who comes from the Vulcan planet, has to go home to fulfill a marriage betrothal, to be married. And the lady who's going to uh, conduct the service is a, a lady named Chapao, played by a wonderful Viennese, Jewish Viennese actress named Celia Lofsky. I'm supposed to meet her when we arrive at the planet. We exchange hellos. It was the first time we were seeing other Balkans, other people of my race. So I was hoping to find some touches that could develop the story of the Balkan sociology, history, whatever, ritual. So I said to the director, I think we should have some special greeting that Balkans do. Because we, he said, what do you mean? I said, well, you know, humans, we, we have these rituals, that we, the things that we do. Um, we shake hands, we, we nod to each other, we bow to each other, we salute each other. What do Vulcans do? So I suggested this. He said, okay. And that's how we, we did it as a greeting, a Vulcan greeting. Uh, boy, that just took off through the culture. It was amazing. Within days after it was on the air, I was getting it on the street. People doing this to me, waving to me in this Vulcan gesture. That, that's interesting. And it's been that way to this day. It's almost 50 years later, people are still doing it. It just touched the magic chord. Most people to this day still don't know what it's all about. A lot of people do because I've talked about it a lot. I've been asked the question, where did that come from? And I have very readily put out this story. It's, it's, it's sort of a, like, like a secret a handshake or something you know, that people enjoy to exchange with each other as if to say, I'm, I'm in on it. I, I, know this, I know the joke, you know, Star Trek, right? You know, hey, Star Trek. You know, it's great. 
People don't realize they're blessing each other with this. <laughs> That's great.